and welcome. Hope you're having a wonderful day. If you're new here, my name is Jessie. Here on my channel, you'll find tons of homemaking and cleaning and motivation. I also do mobile home living and I'm in the process of turning this double wide into my dream home. So of course, I do have a lot of home updates and makeovers as well. Today's video, y'all, I'm going to be doing a little bit of everything, I guess. So one thing I'm going to be doing is some cleaning, organizing. I'm also going to be doing some decorating, sharing with you a yummy, delicious dinner, y'all. I'm so excited for this. It's smothered um, turkey with rice. Oh my gosh, y'all. I cannot wait. It's going to be my first time trying it. And then we're also going to be doing a Walmart grocery haul as well. So if y'all are ready, let's get to it. All right, y'all. So now I'm going to go ahead and put on dinner really quick. So today I'm making smothered turkey breast. I've never tried this turkey breast before, y'all. Um, I didn't even know this was even a thing. I thought it was just like um, around Thanksgiving kind of thing. But <laughs> there's actually um, turkey breasts in the store for you to buy and prepare throughout the year. And I am going to give it a try. So this is a big old chicken or a turkey breast that I picked up. And this is supposed to be a crock pot meal, but I waited too long to put it on. So I'm going to make it this way and put it in the oven. It will be just fine. It'll just cook a lot faster. And what I want to make is smothered um, turkey breast. That way I can have like a gravy mix with it and also put it over rice and eat it. So this does come with a gravy pack that you can use, but I'm going to be gluten free. So I'm going to um, and make up my own concoction. I have two cubes of chicken bouillon. I'm going to put inside the water and kind of crumble it up and mix it all up in there. And that's going to give me a lot of flavor for this as well. And then I'm also going to be adding in some salt, um, some garlic powder, onion powder, bay leaves, rosemary, and sage. I want to get everything incorporated in there i want this to have lots and lots of flavor mix it up really good and then i'm just going to pour this right over the turkey breast and um let it cook because it's going to um need to cook for a while until it is like falling apart tender and then i will mix in a um mix up some like a roux to put on there to make it make like the juice Thick. so it'll be like a gravy type so we can eat it over rice but yeah y'all that is all that I'm doing um, I decided next time I make this I do want to go ahead and make it more of like a stew type to add in some carrots and some potatoes in there as well I think that will give it such a great flavor as well but this was so so delicious and as you can see it has tons of seasonings on there, so it's not going to lack flavor at all. You can put whatever you want in it when you make this. Like I said, this is my first time making it, so it will be switched up next time. As you can see, it is done cooking now, and I'm just taking off the fat pieces and the, the bay leaves, and then I'm going to start shredding this. Not like shredding, shredding, but like tearing it apart. Um... That way it's in smaller pieces. I guess I am shredding it. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to thicken up the gravy. I'm going to be using my cornstarch to thicken it up because I don't want to use flour because it's not gluten free. And I'm going to just stick it back in the oven and let it cook for a little bit longer. And it won't take long for that um, cornstarch to do its job and to thicken now I don't want to add a lot because I don't want this to be super thick I just want it to be a little bit thicker than what it is now so I'm going to definitely be mindful of how much cornstarch I'm going to be using and then you are going to want to taste as well see if you need any uh, more salt any more seasonings and you know make sure it tastes good before you want to plate it as well so I decided mine needed a little bit more seasoning in it. So I went ahead and added a couple more bouillons in there. And I'm adding some cornstarch with the water, mixing it up really good. And then I'm just going to go ahead and add it in to the dish, mix it up, stick it back in the oven, and then it will be good to go.
this is what it looks like y'all so delicious oh my goodness this was really really good so definitely give it a try all right y'all so now i'm gonna go ahead and get some decorating done really quick so if you see my last video i did a makeover i did these um entryways here put the fake beams up on that side and this side and i absolutely love them seems like y'all really enjoyed the video as well and y'all like what we did but this was a lot of work y'all but i absolutely love it it came out better than i expected all of the hard work paid off you know it took a lot to um distress this wood it was a lot of work to burn it just to give it the look that we wanted and so worth it so worth it i love it so if you've been here with me for a while i've talked about how i want barn doors barn doors barn doors barn doors so we we're getting close to do the barn doors and my husband reminded me that we had to do this first because that's the look that we were going for we wanted it trimmed out before we put the barn doors up and mind you this is built at the top to hold the big tall barn doors but after we got done with the project and it was like a day or two later we just realized how beautiful it is that we just don't even want to put barn doors up. So, like I was thinking, so if we did put up the barn doors, I'm not going to be opening and closing the barn doors all the time, okay? They're really more or less for decoration. Maybe once in a while if my dogs are running around and I need to close it while I'm cooking to keep the dogs out, yes, that would work. But I felt like when they're open, one door is going to be right here, one door is going to be right there in the middle, and it's just going to feel like dark all the way across. And it's just going to block off so much in the living room and just make it feel even smaller than it is. And I don't want that. So I'm going to just go ahead and leave it the way that it is. So I'm going to decorate this wall now. With all that being said, um, we're not doing barn doors. If I change my mind, I may change my mind a year or two down the road. If I feel like I want barn doors, I can always put them up that is built to hold the barn doors. But as of right now, I don't feel like I want to do that. Now that we are not going to be putting up barn doors, I'm going to go ahead and decorate this wall. So back behind you is my cowhide wall with the pictures. That is going to get moved right here. I thought that would be so pretty and a tie in, you know, with this look, all the colors and the cowhide print, so, so pretty. So I decided to go ahead and move that here. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do now. And then after I'm done with that, we're going to head into the kitchen and I'm going to be cleaning out underneath my kitchen sink because it is horrible. And I'm also going to share with you a couple of organizers that I'm going to be using to help me organize. But also I want to let you know really quick before I get started, I am going to be starting a makeover on this wall either tonight or tomorrow morning. I cannot wait. So this wall, the fireplace is going to get made over. And then that wall is going to have a makeover too, um, just in a different video. But yeah, y'all, I'm trying to get all of these makeovers done with. I am tired of makeovers, if you can imagine. Um, eventually, the dog's room will get a makeover and my son's room as well. But that's not, I'm not in no hurry for that. I just want to get the main living areas done, the laundry room, the bathroom in there. And then we will focus on the other two rooms. I'm not in a rush to get those done. But anyways, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and... Not long ago, you got hurt. Someone did you wrong. I can see it in your eyes. It's like your fire is gone. Across your face, it is written across your face. If you want to talk, I'm right here, not gonna leave your side. Just feel free to open up when the moment's right. Across your face, it is written across your face. If you want to go out, we can go out. You can hide away just for one night. But if you want to cry, just let it out. I'm by your side.
wish I could take your pain away Cause I hate seeing tears streaming down your face I know you're strong Won't feel this way for long, no If you wanna go out, we can go out We can hide away just for one night But if you wanna cry, just let it out I'm by your side So this is how it looks. I love the way that it looks against the sage green wall and all of the stained wood there. It just ties in so much better on this wall and I think I like it much better here. Moving on now into the kitchen, I am going to be sharing with you a couple organizers that I was sent and y'all these have a discount code so you need to go and you know take advantage of that if you need some of these because I'm going to be using these to transform under my sink, I guess this company seen how bad under my sinks were and decided to send me a few of these to help me organize under my sinks. And I am so grateful for that. But I'm going to go ahead and share with you these two in this video. And then I also have a few more um, that I'm going to be sharing with you whenever I organize the other spot in my home, probably the underneath my bathroom sink. But anyways, y'all, this one right here is a two piece. It's a two piece set and um it is the pool drawers which is awesome 
And this one, the original price is $27.99, but you can get these 40% off for the two pack. How awesome is that? So I'll have a discount code for 30% off and then I also have another discount code for a 10% off on top of that which makes it $16.79 for this two piece. If you're struggling to organize or stay organized like me, these will definitely come in handy for you. As you can see, I am putting them together. No issues, very, very, very easy. And um, I cannot wait to put these under my sink and see how they are going to look, which we are going to do here in a minute and I cannot wait. But anyways, I'll have all of this linked down below in the description box for you. Go ahead and check them out if you are needing some organization um, caddies like these. And yeah, so let's go ahead and put these together. That way I can go ahead and clean out under my nasty sink. <laughs> As you can see, it was that easy to put together. And also comes with these hooks that you can put on the side to hang things on. I just don't know if I'm gonna use them, so I decided to leave them off. And if I want to use them for anything, then I'll go ahead and hook them on there. But y'all, this is what they look like. I may take one apart and just use it without the, um, the poles. But look at the mess, y'all. I had to take everything out for, I'm um, looking for a leak. And then I just kind of threw everything back because I knew I was going to um, and make this over and kind of get it all organized and clean but y'all oh my goodness it, it's a mess it has been like that for a long time um, it was organized and then just slowly turned into a huge mess and I was really really tired of it and right before this company actually reached out to me I was in the process of organizing under my cabinet so these organizers came at a perfect time and I'm so excited. So just what I needed. I'm going to go ahead and let y'all enjoy me um, giving y'all this cleaning motivation. Hopefully this will inspire you to tackle under your sinks. I know I'm not the only one that has a messy under the sink that needs organizing. So I'm going to go ahead and just go through everything. If it's trash, put it in the trash, you know, and only keep the things that I'm going to need. That way I don't have such a huge mess to deal with. I know what you've been down thinking about him again. I know that your heart's been broken You should try and let it go And start being yourself you, you. you can put on your dress We can play your favorite song And I will take care of you Care of you, care of you This is what we need This is what we You don't need to be ashamed Everyone's got their hearts broken sometime Let's go out and lose our minds Forget all about him You, you You can put on your dress Dance into your favorite song Everybody will sing along, sing along, sing along So put your hands up Bye. 
rising up as firefighters. You got me dancing in your store. Forever looking like a breeze, but really you're a forest fire. You got me feeling uncomplicated. Whatever happens is meant for us. Crushing into all the situations. Whatever happened, we came there first. So this is how it turned out everything is nice and clean and organized um, so it does have the pull out shelves in case you need to reach something don't mind that ugly Brillo box y'all I just didn't want to open it and have it scattered in the box but there was like something stuck to it but I'm just gonna leave it but you can see everything has a spot now everything is all clean and organized and I'm going to keep it this way Definitely check that out in my description All box. All right, y'all. So this is my Walmart haul for the week. So as you can see, I don't have a whole lot here because I pretty much have a lot of the meals already on hand, y'all. So starting here in the corner, I'll go ahead and show you. I have a, a gallon of milk and a um, this is the caramel macchiato iced coffee. I was trying to see if I got the caramel or if I got the um, mocha because those are the two that we get. And this stuff over here, y'all, is not food, but I just grabbed as well. So these two are my favorite, the Enchanted and the Magic Spill. These two are so, so good. So I actually tried a new um, a refill for my Febreze plugins. And if these don't smell good, y'all, and if they don't put out smell, then I am done with the plugins because for some reason I cannot get them to put out any scent so and I hate that and I usually do that with all plugins like they start working and then I know you're supposed to get like you get nose blind to it and you don't think like it's it, it smells but for real that I don't think they smell but anyways um I have some bananas here thought I got more but those will be okay I have a bag of cucumbers so I have a bunch of cucumbers so we can have like for dinners or I can have for a snack here and there um, one of the meals that we're having this week, my husband requested some macaroni salad. And y'all, I don't know how to make enough macaroni salad for a meal. I make big, big batches when I cook. So I decided to go ahead and get this. It's just for my husband and my son. I have a thing of rolls for dinner one night. Some mushrooms. It's going to be for smothered um, turkey one night. And something else. I forgot what that's going to go in. I have some canned goods, I have some green beans, and I was craving green beans, y'all. I really love some green beans, so I got some of those, and then I also got a couple things of corn as well. I have some soy sauce, some ginger, wasabi, cream cheese, I have some crab, and some seaweed. I guess you can tell we are going to have sushi one night this week. I have some sour cream, brown gravy mix, some tortillas, and then uh, moving on back here, I have a bag of jalapenos, some gluten-free mac and cheese, a bag of shrimp. Y'all, I don't even remember what I was going to do with the shrimp, but I got some shrimp. Oh, I'm making a, um, I don't know what I'm going to shrimp, y'all. I always do this, make my meals and not remember what I'm making with them. So I have it written down, I'll share. And then I have some swai, a pack of swai. Um, we are going to have fish tacos one night. Also, um, we'll have some fresh fish left over. I wanted to make some homemade tartar sauce and make some fish sandwiches with chips. I thought that would be really good. Or some french fries, but yummy, yummy, easy dinner. And then over here, y'all, I don't really use this, but um, I decided to try something different. And I wanted the one that said um, Super OxyClean. It had like the purple logo, but they were out of that, so they substituted for this. But I'll give it a try. It does smell good. And then um, right back here, these peppers are hiding. So I'm going to go ahead and give these peppers a try, too. I don't think I've ever tried them but they look like they would be just a spicy version of like pepperoncinis or um, banana peppers but anyways y'all this is what i've got to help me um prepare dinner for my family for the week so uh, i'm gonna go ahead and get these put away really quick i'm just trying to get by 